In these problems, we're trying to find the area of a complex figure, so it's um, not a normal shape that we have a formula for. And as we've done in the past, what we want to do is try to cut these things up into shapes that we do have formulas for. In this one, I think it's pretty obvious we're going to have a rectangle and a triangle, and we can just cut it right there. The only trick is to make sure we have all our dimensions. The, the rectangle part's pretty easy. It's 8 by 12, so it's, that's part of this, 12 times 8, plus our triangle. And that one's a little bit trickier. Remember, the formula for a, the area of a triangle is area equals 1 half base times height. This is a right triangle, so the height is going to be here, and the base is going to be down here. So we need to figure out what this base side is and what this height is. We know that this whole length is 21, and this portion of it is 8, so this portion must be 8 down here. When we subtract 8 from 21, we should get 13, so that must be the base of the triangle. Now for the height, we'll do it in a similar way. We know this whole side here is 12, and there's 7 here, so what must be left here is 5. Now we have all the numbers we need to figure out the area of this triangle. It equals 1 half times 13 times 5, and that is 32.5. And then we just add that to the area we got for the uh, rectangle. 12 times 8 is 96 plus 32.5, and I get 128.5. And let's see, the dimensions were in centimeters, so this is square centimeters because that's the area of that figure. Let's try another one. It says, what is the area of the figure? Dimensions are in inches. And this one's actually a little bit trickier. So you could go about this a couple of ways. I'm going to cut it there first, and then I think I have to cut it here to get that triangle by itself. Now we've got three different portions to figure out. This one's probably the easiest. I've got my, my sides here, 23 by 12, so that's part of it, 23 by 12 plus. Now this one, one side of it is 14, this rectangle, and this other side, well, the whole length is 21, so I have to subtract 12 from 21, so I've got 9, so 14 by 9. And then our triangle is the trickiest one, and this is, again, a right triangle, so our base is here and our height is here. Well, I just figured out the height here. I figured out this was 9, and that's the same length there. So our height is 9. And how about the base here? Well, we have to subtract this 14 from the 23, and that should be 9 as well. So the base is 9. Now we can figure out the area of that triangle. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So that would be 1 half times 9 times 9. So that would be half of 81. 40.5. Now we can uh, do the rest of the math and add all these together. So 23 times 12 is 276. 14 times 9 is 126. And then we have our 40.5. Add all those together and you get 442.5. It said dimensions were in inches. This is area, so it's going to be square inches. So those are some problems with finding the area of complex shapes.